Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Wednesday, February 19th, 2020. Precipitation for the past seven days is shown here, with the observed amounts on the left and the percent of normal on the right. Most of this precipitation came in over the weekend and into Monday of this week, and mainly just over the northern half of the geographic area. Again, taking a look at the snowfall over the past 72 hours, most of this was on Sunday into Monday, and again over the northern half of the geographic area. And our current snow depth amounts are still uh, pretty good for the time of year. This morning's satellite imagery shows an area of high pressure beginning to move into the Great Basin. And this will continue to bring generally sunny skies and warming temperatures over the next couple of days. So for this afternoon, we're looking for generally dry conditions for much of the area with light winds. Uh, temperatures are still a bit on the cool side, but will be warming over the next couple of days. The ventilation rates are um, not that favorable for burning across much of the geographic area with a few pockets where those values are a little bit higher there over western Utah and southwest Idaho. Again, looking at some of our, our light, lighter winds for the most part across the area, but we do have a few areas with some stronger winds there across southern Idaho, the Snake River Plain, and then western Utah. Uh, mixing heights are on the lower side for much of Nevada and Utah, um, and even lower there up in eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. On Thursday, we'll continue to see that ridge building into the Great Basin for warming temperatures and continuation of sunny skies. Uh, we are beginning to see this low pressure develop off the California coast that will be moving in uh, for the weekend and into the first part of next week. Ventilation rates are still fairly low on Thursday area-wide. Continuation of generally light winds for Utah and Nevada on Thursday with just slightly higher winds there over the western half of the Snake River Plain and the mixing heights are on the low side across the geographic area. By Friday we'll begin to see that low uh, start to send some moisture up into the western half of the geographic area um, with continuation of warm and sunny skies over the eastern half of the Great Basin. Ventilation rates remain very low on Friday. Light winds for the most part over Nevada and Utah um, and even up into Idaho with generally lower mixing heights. We're starting to see some of those higher mixing heights move into far southern Nevada. The three-day precipitation totals are very low. Really, we're just looking for a little bit of precipitation to move into the southern half of the geographic area um, late Friday and into Saturday morning. As we move into the day on Saturday, we'll see that low track across the southern Great Basin that will bring some uh, deeper moisture into the southern half of the Great Basin and bring some precipitation across the south there. We don't have the ventilation images for the, uh, the weekend and into the first part of next week, so here are the upper level wind speeds. Uh, most of the stronger winds are uh, located south of the Great Basin, but we'll begin to see wind speeds pick up uh, late in the day on Saturday. As that low quickly moves off to the east uh, out of the Great Basin on Sunday, we will see uh, some higher wind speeds move into the northern half of the geographic area as another long wave trough moves into the Pacific Northwest and northern Rockies. Uh, so ventilation rates will pick up across the north on Sunday. And then on Monday that trough deepens a bit over uh, the northern plains. That will bring some stronger west to northwest winds into the Great Basin. Uh, we're not looking for a lot of precipitation with this vent where most of the moisture is off to the east but we will see stronger winds and much cooler temperatures um, heading back into the 30s uh, for the first part of next week. Those northerly winds remain in place on Tuesday. Uh, so for precipitation accumulations for uh, days 4 and 5 we're looking for that southerly storm to bring moisture to the southern Great Basin and then uh, in and, th and that's for that Saturday Sunday time frame and then Sunday into Monday we'll see that trough that kind of weaker uh, long wave trough skirt across the northern Rockies bringing precipitation to Idaho and western Wyoming. The extended forecast for the 26th through March 3rd is calling for below normal temperatures for most of the geographic area and also below normal chances for precipitation so a cool dry period heading into the first part of March. This concludes today's smoke dispersion briefing. Please check back on Friday for the latest updates.